اليوم بصفتي رئيس مجلس إدارة نيوم نقدم لكم The Line. The Line is a massive project spanning a total of 150 kilometers from the Red Sea to the city of Tabuk. Picture this. Two 500-meter-tall linear buildings shaped like large walls running parallel to each other and covered with reflective glass standing as tall as the Empire State Building, estimated to house over 9 million people, it is a wonder of modern architecture. First announced in 2020 by Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, this monumental project is said to consume a whopping $500 billion. It is by far the country's most ambitious mega-project, funded by a company called Neom, which is owned by the sovereign Saudi investment fund controlled directly by the crowned prince. Who cares about Saudi princes when we have you? To give us a thumbs up, tap the button. This building is being designed to be 100% self-sufficient with light and energy. Although criticism has been rolled out, proving that the entire construction of the project will produce roughly four times the annual emissions of the United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia seems to be undeterred. So what will living in the building look like? Well, for one, your basic amenities will be within walking distance of your residence, you heard right, walking distance, and that is because this city plans to be completely free from cars and roads, a true zero emission utopia. But you know what will be free and more awesome? Hitting that subscribe button. The line would be broken up into 140 modules, each acting like a city on its own, and having dimensions 800 meters long and 200 meters wide, will be assembled in a straight line. Each module will be able to accommodate 80,000 people. The modular concept was pushed because it allows each module to be a city with an adaptable structural environment. Changes can be made to the modules as the city's needs change over time. A shocking project is bound to get a lot of reactions, especially when drone footage released in October 2022 shows heavy construction happening on the site of the line. So how far gone are they? In an exclusive interview granted by the project's executive director, he revealed that basic infrastructure for the line is 20% finished. These include roads and offices necessary for future work on the site. Recent satellite images show a huge contrast highlighting the progress carried out on the project. But first, bad news. The interconnected underground high-speed rail system named the Spine, which in just 20 minutes is said to carry passengers and cargo to travel to any point within the line, has been reduced by 30 kilometers, and total stations was dropped to nine. From an initial number of 48, a subsection of the city already has hundreds of housing units, a school, mosque, post office, bus station, and even its own branch of Starbucks. But the major excitement is the work being done in excavation. The main outline of the project can now be seen from Google Maps, and not to neglect the hidden marina, which will be the biggest marina in the world once completed. The massive project is seeing 1 million cubic meters of earth are dug up each week as 4,200 piles are laid. But the unrelenting Saudi government scoff at these figures as they are set to ramp up production in the coming months, prepping the ground ready for construction. The project hasn't been all kisses and rainbows though. There have been reports of human rights violations, as many villagers were forced to leave their ancestral homes to make way for the project, and protesters who came out to air their views on the project were sentenced to decades in prison and some facing potential death sentence. Many have pointed out that a vertical city on this scale is simply not sustainable. The straight linear layout also raises some concerns. For a city that claims to be one with nature and in harmony with its surroundings, it is actually quite invasive to local wildlife, hindering important migration and feeding routes. With all the upcoming issues with the project, you'll have to ask if the first stage of construction, estimated to be complete by 2030, is wishful thinking. But one thing is sure, it will be nothing like the world has ever seen. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. This is TurboTech speeding into the future.